let's talk about automated security analysis of Android and iOS applications with mobile security framework. Consider a typical mobile application pen list. So you need to set up a dedicated environment. You should either have devices or configured virtual machines, Android or iOS virtual machines. Then you need tools to access and extract the data in transit like HTTP proxies, uh, SQLite viewer for viewing SQLite DB files and all those things. Again, you need another set of tools for performing security assessment. And one another important part or aspect of mobile application pen test is the manual code review. So you have to do the manual code review. If it's an Android binary, you have to decompile it and then extract the source code and then do a code review on the source code. Or if it's a white box testing where you have access to the source code, again, you have to go through the source code and perform a security code review. Again, the assessment should cover the OWASP mobile top 10 and the OWASP web top 10 in case of hybrid application. So these days mobile applications are hybrid. They both have the mobile component as well as the web component with them. So the mobile, the vulnerabilities that affect the mobile space as well as the vulnerabilities that affect the web space is applicable here. Again, the same process follows when a new release or update for the mobile application happens. This is really a cumbersome process. Like whenever there is a minor update or a new major version release or change, you have to go through the whole process. And again, it's not really an easy job. You have to have all the environment ready and set up so that you can start testing a new application version or build. So this is really a cumbersome process. And in that space comes the importance of mobile security framework. The mobile security framework is an open source mobile application, Android or iOS automated pen testing framework capable of performing static and dynamic security analysis. The current version supports Android compressed source code zip file, iOS compressed source code zip file. So any of the four can be the input. And as of now, the framework only supports dynamic analysis of Android binaries.